Over the past week with Bolt.new, we built a stock investments app, an app where you can create clones of yourself, an app where you can add captions to any video you want for free, and a social media analytics tracker app. But today, what we're gonna be building is just the most exciting thing ever because we're gonna be recreating a $500 million AI company called HeyGen, and we're gonna make it into our own AI influencer platform all in this video. This app right here with the marketing tools and guidance that I'm giving you will literally be able to create tens of thousands of dollars a month. And I have proof to show you this. If I were to bring up HeyGen and their valuation, we can see that this company is worth $500 million. And what they basically do is they create a whole bunch of avatars, AI avatars that people like you and I can use to sell our services and products. But the problem is you're paying them to use their to use this service. What I'm gonna be showing you guys today is how you can create this service yourself by using their APIs so that you can start selling it to other people. And so basically what we're gonna be doing in today's video is we're gonna be grabbing a HeyGen and we're gonna be making our own version. And so on top of this tutorial in today's video, guys, if you also want to learn not just how to build these AI softwares, but how to sell them, then I'll see you in my No Code Academy because I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually start selling your own AI product Products, and that's at the top of the description. But without further ado, let's dive into, the, into today's video. We're gonna be talking about guys is Bolt.new plus APIs. So previously we explained how you can add Bolt.new to your automations through Airtable. And that was a really, really powerful video, but this is taking things to a whole new level because we're just gonna be using APIs from certain companies. And what APIs are, are basically giving us behind the scenes access to their software. And so in this example, HeyGen is an AI avatar um, cloning uh, software company but since they're giving us their API access, we have access to all of their avatars and all of their influencers. And so to show you guys how this actual application works really quick, if we go to our Bolt, this is what we're gonna be building today. And we have our entire homepage, we have 3D animated backgrounds, and we also have some, ele some animated elements when we hover over our own avatars. And as you guys can see here, we have 715 avatars to choose from and 245 talking photos to choose from. And this is all gonna be used through your API, meaning it's all gonna be ran through you. And so you get to, you then get to collect all of the revenue that is generated from these clients that are using your platform. And so the way that the platform actually works is you would go to this generate, you would choose any of the avatars that you had a list of here. So in this case, we could even use myself and we can choose the voice. So in this case, we can choose my own voice. And then we would write in the script, right? So we would just write in a whole script, whatever, test, 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 and we would click generate video. So in this example here, here's a video that I had completed that is using the bolt.new API call that I'm talking about. And so the entire end-to-end -end functionality of this um, application is built out. And now you and I get to build it out together in this video. Oh, let's do exactly that guys. Let's start the tutorial and see how fast we can build this application. So we're going to head over to bolt.new and we're going to start brand new and fresh. So we're just going to write, I am creating a AI influencer application page displaying the avatars pages. So we're going to send that in. We're going to let it cook and hopefully it'll give us like a rough outline of what we need to build on top of. Oh, I'm actually also going to move my, uh, camera so you guys can actually see everything that I'm typing. We're gonna make myself a little bit smaller too. Now I just want you guys to literally like join me step by step in how we're actually gonna do this. All right, so just completed. We should get a nice little preview page. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so the preview page is still not working. So right here, we're just gonna click attempt fix and let it kind of figure out what it did wrong. Okay, so we have a very simple, basic homepage. Um, we're gonna make it look pretty at the end, but right now we're just working on functionality, right? So when we click on avatars, it has some fake avatars that aren't coming from anywhere. These are just placeholders. And so now we need to actually set up an environment file so we can give it our API key and we can tell it where to get all of this information from. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna write, okay, that looks good. Now create an ENV file where I can add my HeyGen API key. Okay, awesome, so it configured all of that. So we're gonna head into the code now and you guys will see an ENV file here and it's expecting our HeyGen API key. So that's perfect. So we can delete that. We can head over to HeyGen and we can find our API keys. So you guys are gonna head into the space settings and you guys are gonna see here this API. You're gonna click that and you're gonna have your own API key. So I'm just gonna copy that in. We're gonna head over to our Bolt project and we're just gonna paste in that API key and then we're gonna click save. So paste that in click save. So now it has our API key. 
So nothing's actually gonna change yet because we haven't shown it where to actually get the uh, avatars from. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So you're gonna write hey gen docs. And this is gonna show you exactly where you're gonna be calling all of this information that we need. So the first set of information that we need is a list of all the available AI influencers that we can offer our customers. And so that's gonna be in this list all avatars here. And it's called a get request because we're getting the AI influencers. And so what's really cool is it actually shows us exactly what the code is to get these influencers. And so you're literally just gonna copy this and you're gonna send that to Bolt. So now that we're back in Bolt, this is the avatars page. And so we're gonna write the avatars page, the way that you can call the avatars is through this get request. And there's also one more thing because when it gets the request, it's going to come in a format. So now we're going to find the format that the request gets received in. And that's right here. So it shows us what the response format will look like. And we're just going to show it that there's two different types of responses. There's avatars and there's talking photos. So we go back to our finished, um, our finished application, right? We'll see that we have the avatars profile and we have the photos profile. So we'll just let that load for a sec. And so these are stationary images of different avatars that we can create talking heads of. And so we need to differentiate between the two. And so basically when we go back into HeyGen, we're just going to copy all of the responses that are possible. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back to that conversation and we're gonna say, in addition, this is the format that we get the response in. There are two types of avatars. One is avatars, the other is talking photo. We're gonna paste in that code and we're gonna send it in. So now it should update the request on that avatars page with the real information that we have associated to our own API key. Now this may this probably will make a couple of mistakes, but it's bypassing us so much freaking time. Like we were able to do this in a couple of minutes and now we're about to have a website where all of our real avatars that we can sell to other people will be featured. And so as you guys can see here, before it even shows us the preview, there is no talking photo page. So I can guarantee that this isn't going to be perfect because it needed to create one more page. But anyways, if we go into avatars, we can see that it failed, right? So we can go into the problems and we can see that it's having trouble with the avatars page and, and basically breaking up the components. And so we're just gonna click the attempt fix. It says, I noticed there's an error in the avatars page when we're trying to map over the undefined data. So yeah, like I said, it's, it's just gonna start to figure out how to grab the data that we need. So now let's see how this looks, pull up the avatars page. So now it says it, failed to load the avatars. And so that again, it just has an issue with the with the fetching of the actual avatars. And I just wanna let it know, when fetching the avatars, there are two types, avatars and talking photos. That could be what's wrong with your fetching error. So, we're gonna send that in and then we're gonna see if it uh, it can fix that. So this time in the code, I was able to see that I was able to split between the avatars and the talking photo. So hopefully that paid off. Okay, yep, so now you guys can see there's two different cards. There's the avatar card and the talking photo card. So that's looking a little bit better. We're gonna head over into avatars. So it's still failing to fetch the avatars. Um, and we're just gonna double check that, you know, this is still in the ENV file. So it has it here in the ENV. And it, oh, it actually deleted the, a, the API key that I put in, right? So we're gonna replace that with the API key that we already had. So we're gonna copy that again, and we're gonna put it back in. Bolt.new is brand new, guys, so we gotta expect these mistakes. So we're gonna, um, potentially this works now. So we're gonna click loading. Okay, so it, it at least was able to load. It says no avatars or talking photos found. So it's just, look, it's just searching in the wrong area, but we're close, we're getting closer. So hopefully this, um, error here was the issue and um, let's see what happens. So it says, I noticed there's a 401 unauthorized error when trying to fetch avatars, which indicates the API is not properly configured. Let's create and set up the ENV file with the HeyGen API key. So it reset up the API environment, environment folder. And so now let's see if it loads the avatars. Okay, so still no. So I'm just gonna copy this in. I'm gonna say on the avatars page, 
it is still, it is saying this error. Oops, we're, we're gonna add that in, okay. I noticed that we need to properly handle the API response structure. Good, so it needs to know that it, it's, it's now getting the response, but now it needs to actually correctly handle the structure, which is great. So we're getting, as you guys can see, we're getting closer to what this is going to look like. So step by step, baby. So head into avatars and it pulled up some of the avatars. Okay, so now look at that. We're, we're making some serious progressions. Um, it still says that there's a couple of errors, but at least it was able to find the avatars and show them to us. So that's a great step in the right direction. Um, we're gonna see if it can attempt, we're just gonna quickly fix this error and then we'll move forward. And so the other beautiful thing about Bolt while this is happening guys, is that it's going to, no matter what, reduce your costs of getting to market. And so what that means is my exact strategy of turning ideas into full on products uses Bolt because if you can create a product with Bolt and it works, then you can actually go to our high level development team over at Batty Ventures where we can actually build out the full on application. And so not only will it be cheaper for you guys to do that, it, you'll all, or you already have a validated concept in the market. And so you'll know that when you bring the final product to market, it's actually gonna work. So let's go to avatars now. And it's still showing some issues, but I already know what the issue is, right? So if you guys can see here, it loaded every single avatar that we could possibly use. And that's going to crash the entire system because that's loading so much information on one page. So all we're gonna write is the AI avatars are loading correctly. Um, in the uh, nav bar, add the total number of AI avatars, the total number of talking photos avatars, talking photo avatars, and limit each page on the avatar screen to only 30 avatars per page. So if we go back to our finished AI influencer app, we'll see at the bottom here how there's so many different pages and that's why this thing's able to load really, really, really nicely, right? You see there's no lagging, there's no glitching and that's because it's all within these pages. So if I click a new page, it'll then load that up and there's no lag. So our goal for this app that we're building is the exact same thing. We wanna now eliminate the lag and hopefully that'll actually fix this error because as you guys can see, it actually said may already be resolved or irrelevant now because we are able to identify it and fix it with our own prompt in a better way. Okay, so it said it just limited the page now to 30 um, avatars per page, so that's awesome. And if we go into the avatars, we can now see in the header that there's 716 AI avatars and 245 talking photo avatars that we can choose from. So we're not done yet, there's so much more that we can add to it, but this is looking good. If we scroll to the bottom, we can see that there's now nine pages. So that's all looking really, really good. So if you made it this far and you're sticking along, good job. So while this is going guys, another way that you guys can get a massive like leap forward in your learning curve is literally just booking a call with me. And I give all of my annual members a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Me being able to answer questions will help you save so much money, so much time, and also just put you in the right direction. So that's something to keep in mind when you're joining the academy, but it actually updated all of that stuff. So if we go over to the avatars page, we should be able to see everything's looking good now. Oh, it still has a problem though. So we're gonna just click that one more time and then we'll get started on the next task. Okay, so now we have no more errors. If we load up this page, we see that there's no more errors. Okay, so now we can move forward. So we created this avatar page in the navigation bar that's basically done. So now we have to fix this create page, right? So let's talk about that with our bolt. So let's just go on the create page form. We need to be able to select any of the avatars from the list. The script content is good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into HeyGen. So what we just did with this list avatars, we're gonna do the exact same thing with actually creating the video. And that's over here in this post request. So create avatar video. And so now we have this entire new request that we can give to our bolt.new AI. So we're gonna copy that and we're gonna just send that in to our bolt.new. So the form request is from this JSON format. 
And so basically what's happening here, guys, is th the selections that we choose in that form will then be passed to HeyGen so that we can actually create that end video. Okay, so that says it's been completed. Let's go to the create page. We can now choose any of the avatars that is a part of our API, so that's awesome. And anyone that you sell your software to will have access to every single one of these avatars now. And so you guys can see you basically are building your own software now. So we're gonna choose myself as the avatar. We're gonna enter the script, test, 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 right? It even has the video dimensions, which is cool. Um, and we're gonna click generate video. Now you see this is not working and in the bottom left hand there's all these errors and that's because it's not actually mapping to our HeyGen yet. So we're just going to try and figure out where that error is occurring. And the first way we can do that is simply just getting Bolt to try and fix it first. Okay, so now we can go back to that form page, choose my avatar again, test, 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 and there's still issues. So we're just going to let it know what it should do, right? So um, when the avatar is selected, map that avatar's ID and audio ID into this JSON. Also put the script content into the input text field. Hopefully that fixes it. Okay, so I'm gonna try that one more time. So now we can put in our text, our, our script content, and we can click generate video, and boom, our video generation has started successfully. And so that means it's been sent over to HeyGen. And so we can actually go to HeyGen on the back end and we can see if it actually received that request. So here we are, we see this is 96% ready. So we have our video request all the way through. And so this entire application is now completely functional. And so the only thing that you would have to do left is to actually make one more page where it has the end results. And I've already shown you guys in multiple of my um, automations using Bolt, how this can work. Things that are really left are sign in authentications, adding your Stripe payment, and then deploying it as a website. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making another tutorial that just has those three as the things that you need to learn in that tutorial. And so in this tutorial, guys, you now have the actual functioning application. And so you can start having fun with it and how it looks, because if we were to compare this application to this application, it's really night and day difference, but all I've done is just add a couple more um, prompts. At the end of the day, you guys know what this thing can end up looking like because we have it here. And so we have all of these 3D moving uh, shapes. We have these different navigations. We have a home page with a hero landing landing bar. Um, we could get people to start creating browse avatars in the future. There would be a pricing bar here as well and a sign in bar where they can actually check their signed in accounts. Um, here they have all of their avatars where they can actually search the names of their avatars. Same with the talking photos. So the entire functionality of this app is now done and start selling literally as soon as you launch. So I'll see you guys in the next one.